Hi, it's Roger Hamilton here, and welcome to the Millionaire Master Plan. This is a structure which I have used with thousands of entrepreneurs to help them to be able to focus at where they're at and where they're going in their business, in their life, in their investments. So let's just have a look and see how this works and why it works, how it's going to work for you. Millionaire Master Plan, think of it like a map, a little bit like if you're kind of lost in a new city, uh, if, you're, um, uh, if you're trying to work out you know, how to get from one country to another country, that whatever it is that you're looking to do, when you go map, life gets easy. And this is not just a map in terms of two-dimensional, this is a map of a building. Uh, I studied architecture, and one thing that I learned is you might have the plan of a building, but if you don't know which floor it's on, uh, you might be getting an entirely different view at a higher floor compared to a lower floor. And this is exactly what happens when we read a book or we get some advice. We're all at different levels. So knowing what level you're at, as well as exactly which side of this, uh, this lighthouse, which is what I call it, this is called the Wealth Lighthouse, knowing exactly uh, which side you're on so you can see what the view is, knowing exactly what level you're at allows you to see exactly what the next steps are that you need to take. So as we go through this, you're going to find that this has a number of different key parts to it. The first thing is it has a floor plan, which is square. And that square has got four different types of geniuses, which are all about who you are. It's about your natural path, because someone like a Bill Gates has got a very different natural path than someone like a Warren Buffett. They're both billionaires, but one of them got there through being really creative. The other one got there by being really sensory. Very different type of person. Someone like Oprah Winfrey got to her success entirely differently from someone like a Mark Zuckerberg. You know, Oprah went, got, got there through her, through her branding and who, for a connection with people. Whereas someone like Mark Zuckerberg with Facebook got there through his systems and a structure that he created for that platform. So just knowing that we have a different natural path and understanding who we are allows us to know what we should be following compared to those around us. The second thing is there's an element here which is about the levels, and there's a total of nine levels. There's three different prisms I'll share with you, one, two, and three, which is all about something different called where you are. Where you are is the level in which you're at, and by knowing that level, that will make an enormous difference to knowing exactly what is the next step that you should take. And there is a very specific next step that you should take, depending on your level, exactly like everyone else who's at that level as well. And that's all about where you are. Now, if you are like me, you know there's kind of like this voice in your head that is what self-directs you. It, like, no matter how much I go out looking for advice or I go out looking for the support of others, every day I wake up and there's still that little voice who is kind of guiding me to say, Roger, go do this now or go do that now. And I can tell you one thing, which is the voice in my head is different from the one I had five years ago or 10 years ago. It kind of like progresses as you go. And for you, it's exactly the same as well for each of us, because that voice in our head is something that's coming from this tower here. Uh, think about like um, being a pilot on a plane. And that pilot is getting a voice, which is saying go up to 30,000 feet, or it's saying kind of bear five degrees to the southwest. That voice, if the pilot was looking around to say, where's that voice? They wouldn't find it in the cockpit. But that's because it's a radio wave that's coming through from the control tower. And that voice is coming from the control tower where they've got all the controls and they're actually spotting and seeing exactly where that plane is. So as that plane is kind of flying through the sky, the control tower is seeing not just that plane, but all the other planes as well. This is something that Carl Jung called the collective unconscious, that we all have got a part of the same unconscious and by us actually being at the same level as someone else, we kind of tune into them in a particular way. So by just thinking about it in that way, you have a way to upgrade that little voice in your head, just as I do too, and that's one of the most important things. Not, not just how do I get direction, but how do I get self-direction so I can support myself on a day-to-day -day basis. So let's just walk through the basics of this so we can see how it works. First of all, let's just talk about our genius. Your genius is linked to the four seasons. And I can draw this and draw this square down if you'd like to as well. We have spring, we have summer, and we have autumn and winter. And there's a cycle in everything, whether it's in the actual seasons of the, of the earth or whether it is um, the seasons in our industry uh, or even seasons in our business or in our relationships, which always go through these four cycles. Uh, some of us have a genius, and there's a simple test you can do online called the genius test, uh, and we find that we have a dynamo genius, which means that we have our head in the clouds. Uh, someone like uh, uh, Steve Jobs, uh, 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 Bill Gates, uh, all of them 
uh, got their success through a Dynamo Genius, which is coming up with new things. Uh, from Dynamo Genius, some of us might find actually we're more of a Blaze Genius. Uh, this is the difference of someone who is always asking the question, what, compared to someone who is always asking the question, who? Because it's all about the people. Uh, and then we'll find that there are some people who are not idea smart as much or as people smart as much, but are very sensor smart, which is not head in the clouds, it's ear to the ground. And that will be someone called a tempo. So if you're a tempo energy, you'll be more like someone like a Warren Buffett or a Donald Trump, someone who's actually uh, really great at timing as opposed to creativity. Uh, and through those senses or through service, they have a very different focus at what they're looking at and how they're looking at it. Uh, this here is all about the when, the when and the where, which is about gr grounding. And then you'll have here the final one of the three, which is called steel. And if you're a steel genius, you're system smart as opposed to sensor smart. Uh, this is the opposite. Instead of extrovert, it's more introvert. And this one here is always asking the question how, which is why they're so good at systems. So these are the four sides. And without going into the detail now, there is a deeper level, which you may already be aware of. If not, you'll find this also uh, on our test, which is that there are eight different paths based on your genius, and those eight paths are the eight paths that anyone who's ever got to success in their wealth have followed. Uh, you have got the creator who is dynamo and always creating new products, you know, like a, like a, a Richard Branson or like a Walt Disney. Uh, you have got a, a star who is someone like an Oprah Winfrey, really great with brand, much more than just uh, with products. You'll have a supporter who's someone who's a great leader, like a Jack Welsh who's uh, really great with people, which is all about the who, or dealmaker like Donald Trump, which is all about the timing as well as the people. Uh, or you'll have here uh, someone like a trader who is really great at timing, someone like a George Soros who made his, his billions without even having to create anything, but just trading the products of others. Warren Buffett's an accumulator, more on the introvert side. Uh, Lord is someone uh, like, a, like a Larry Page or a Rockefeller who's really great at cash flow or systems, and then the actual creator of the systems themselves here on the introvert side, someone like a Mark Zuckerberg, someone like a Ray Kroc with McDonald's um, is here, uh, really great as a mechanic, right? So each one of these, whether it's creator, star, supporter, dealmaker, trader, accumulator, lord, or mechanic, each one of these has got a different path that they follow, and you can't follow all the paths because they've got different rules. Just like basketball has a different rule from football. I mean, like, you know, one of them, you kick the ball, the other one, you pick it up. And by understanding what your game is, it allows you to be able to really focus at that game. Now, as well as us knowing that we are at one of these sides and allows us to have our natural path, and you're going to find out all about that when you take the test and follow it through, there's one other aspect, which is you might be a creator, but you could be at one of nine different levels. You could be a red creator, which means you're just surviving. You could be a blue creator, which means you've got multiple businesses. Uh, you could be a... Uh, uh, a yellow creator, which means you're self-employed and working things through on your own. Uh, as we go through, you'll see that uh, within this lighthouse, there is something called the wealth spectrum. And the wealth spectrum is understanding that there are nine different levels. Yours is one of them. And by actually focusing at your level, there's the next step of exactly what you need to do and how you need to do it. We'll be getting into that. You'll be able to see exactly how that works. But most importantly, if you want to make sure you're getting the right direction, you need to know where you are, who you are, and more importantly, where you're going.